All righty, here we go with a very special episode, one that is difficult for me to make. It brings me great pain because it's not about dinos. It's difficult. I had a great suggestion from trainer James to showcase the decks that I use that aren't dinos. There isn't many. Mainly it's for those 750 gold quests, the white, the black, and the blue. So we'll just jump right into it. Oh boy, it's difficult. First, black stuff zombies and if you're wondering no i'm not migrating to dinos and other stuff uh still 100 percent dinos but who wants to grind casting tetsamok and rotting regis or that would take all day just to finish that quest not fun so we got zombies really basic did end up using a couple wild cards for it switch the layout there to be better readable did get the Phyrexian Swamp, which I was pretty happy about. So yeah, we got uh, two Ebon Death, Grave Digger, to Zombie, Liliana's Devotee, buffed the Zombies, pretty good. Had two Standard Bearers, that seems pretty decent whenever stuff dies. Possible drawing quite a bit of cards. Then of course you have the Lord, Lord of the Accursed, fantastic giving... All the zombies menace i mean you could sneak through probably enough damage in some cases for lethal it's been pretty fantastic rise of the dread marn did open up four of them and it seems pretty good in some cases but it's zombies death baron Ooh, yeah that is probably my favorite zombie lord my favorite zombie that they have right now oh it's just fantastic plus one plus one in death touch that's difficult for a lot of decks i think then we got white at three white is right opened up three so yeah fits the theme crawl from the cellar that seemed pretty decent at uh, one black helps cast black stuff gets Zombies back to the hand for more stuff to cast to cast more black spells. Then you can flash back it to cast more. So all in all, you're probably casting quite a few spells from one spell, getting the opportunity at least. So I think that's pretty fantastic for those quests. Then we got Dread Wanderer and Festering Mummy. And that's it for the zombies. Alrighty, here we go with... Azorius Flyers. It's uh, pretty basic, as you can see by the name, but really gets those blue and white spells cast nicely. Spectral Sailor and Siren Storm Tamer definitely help with that. And then Rally of the Wings. Oh, just fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Lofty Denial. Awesome counter spell. Watcher of the Spears. That can grow pretty, pretty big for sure. It reminds me of Marauding Raptor a little bit, actually, with the cost reduction getting buffed when you play other stuff so i think that might be my favorite creature with flying definitely just because it matches marauding raptor in some ways raven's warning opened up to thought why not fits the theme pretty good stuff jubilant skybonder tax them make sure they can't kill us all or slow them down at least that's the idea empyrean eagle Fantastic. No-brainer in this deck, I think. Oh, and then Raidan. Raidan. Oh, that's just... It's lovely. Uh, really hurts the opponent. I think it's pretty fantastic, especially all these double-sided legendary cards. You know, you get a second one, you play the other side that you haven't played yet. It's, it's lovely for sure. I've enjoyed casting that a few times I have. Then Tide Skimmer. And then we got the lands, nothing special there, pretty basic. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and the sideboard. One Dovin and one Linvala. That's just for the final Raven's Warning. Other than that, let's get into the next deck. Alrighty, and here is, well, it's not a deck I use for quests, but just something I kind of whipped up a long time ago haven't redeemed the wild cards as you can see but the basic idea behind dark ozolith is 
making artifacts, creatures, specifically dark steel reactor, getting a whole bunch of charge counters on the Ozolith, making dark steel reactor a creature, and then using all the charge counters from the Ozolith, put them on the reactor, and you win the game. Something like that. Still needs a lot of work for sure, but that's that's the basic idea, making dark steel reactor a creature, getting the charge counters could be fun probably won't ever make it but you know if i get the itch i get the wild cards might be something all righty well that'll about do it for this special non-dino episode it was rough made us cry a little bit on the inside at times but i think zombies is probably my favorite deck out of all the non-dino decks that i have just one color it's easy to cast straightforward Lots to love about it, for sure. The death touch, the buffing, menace. It's good stuff, good stuff. If you want to see anything else, any other suggestions, just leave a comment down below. Yeah, it's fun, kind of. Probably going to throw up a lurking dino stream after this, so if you're watching, keep an eye out for that. If you haven't seen it already, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you next time.